Hello, everyone. Hello. And thank you for joining in. If you are joining in from wherever you are, this is our first live broadcast. Yay. Your host, Nora Armani. Let me try to figure out where I can put this banner. Um, create a banner. Yeah, Nora Armani. <laughs> Yeah. So there we go. Um, I am going to invite, uh, talk with two of the members from our team who are present here with us. One is Michael Clays on the right hand side, or I don't know if it's right left for you guys. I don't know how it works. And uh, Ching Ju, who has been, um, both of them have been faithful members of the Socially Relevant Film Festival team for a long time and ongoing support without which it's difficult to envisage this. We're expecting more guests, but um, they're going to join us as they come in. So let's uh, quickly introduce ourselves. How about Michael? You want to tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and how you're involved. Ching, we have a lot of tingling, mingling sounds coming from you. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a street sound. Yeah, okay. All right. So, Michael, tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, I used my initials just so I can conceal my identity. My name is Michael Clay, and I've been working with Nora on this festival for, I think now this is my fourth year. It's the seventh year for the festival. And um, uh, I've got a long background in corporate uh, uh, activities, but in more recently, in recent years, I've been working with film production, uh, working with independent, primarily independent producers, helping them get their projects going um and uh and developing them and 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 uh, bringing them to uh, uh fruition um uh, uh so i've been working with nora on the festival to to help draw attention to to the uh event uh and in particular to draw people into uh watching the films and buying tickets and 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 this year streaming as many of the films as uh, as they can manage um and also uh, actively working on the script writing competition which is an area that particularly interests me i uh, have come to enjoy the process of reading scripts and so i actually look for opportunities to read them and so this festival has been a great chance to do that that's really great. And you've been involved with the festival since. Do you remember? Uh, I think four years. I, I don't, I'm not very good in telling time, but yeah. it's, it's good, probably been at least, at least three or four years uh, uh, that I've been involved. Yeah, and it's been wonderful working with you and uh, getting your advice, get, uh, you know, from your experience as somebody who has been in marketing and PR and all that. And also, uh, you've always been there, like every time we're having a meeting or something important, and then I email you, even if it's a short notice, you're, wow, you're already <laughs> there. And that mm. makes it huge difference because you know a film festival like this uh, you, it's not a one person show you have to have a team you have to have people who are dedicated to understand what's going on and uh, are ready to help and i want to take this opportunity to thank you, <laughs> thank you. in public for all the support you have given and michael is also on the board and um really valuable, valuable help. So let's see uh, what Ching is up to. I can see you are covering some ma rally. Ching, can you hear us? Or have we lost you? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, myself earlier. Where you are. So you don't hear all the noise. Yeah. 
So I am at uh, Washington Square Park. Today, uh, just starting now, is called uh, Asians March for Black Lives Matter. So yep. the theme is uh, Asian people organize this this uh, march. We're going to eventually uh, march towards uh, fully, fully, uh, fully, what do you call fully something? Fully Square, which is uh, in uh, Chamber Street near Chinatown. And then um, yeah. eventually there's more speakers over there. So yeah. we're going to march about 1.4 miles to My downtown. Goodness. So yeah. I probably have to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, I, I just, uh, I just talked about my to history to with Nora. I think I joined the festival in the second year, which is uh, 2014, right? Yes, and, uh, exactly. It's been a while. And yeah. you've been very so, helpful anyway. with uh, the organization so, uh, I mean, of the... Mostly um, working, you know, as a videographer uh, yeah, also and a photographer sometimes. And, uh, yeah. So it's been yeah. really uh, so that inspiring. We're yeah. yeah. so happy you were so, able I to find time go. to drop in to our okay. chat. You have one of and um, I wish good coverage. I am going so, to exit now, okay? Because it's too too and loud here. I should not talk. And I, I I wouldn't listen. So maybe to I you very well. You go because your oh. microphone. I'm muting your microphone. Bye bye. Because it's making too much background noise. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have um, Dirk here, who is has just joined us. Dirk, can you hear me? Yes, I can perfectly. Oh, he's trying to get online. Yeah. There we go. We have Dirk Robertson, festival team member. and avid uh viewer <laughs> of the <laughs> film. <laughs> so maybe you should tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what exactly do you do and how you help us with the films there you go i'm adding your banner <laughs> Derek robertson <laughs> Originally from Scotland, yeah. live in America now. Uh, uh, long background in film, um, many many years as an actor, uh, and then filmmaker in the early two thousands. Uh, short films uh, and a couple of features, uh, and then got involved and also involved in music uh, and various artistic projects uh, that I developed for young people in the United States that are involved in gangs, crime, and delinquency. And I got involved with the, the film festival about 2005 or I six, seven? No, seven? two or no. 15. Nine? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 2015, I mean, we've known each other much earlier, but uh, the festival has yeah. been existing since 2014. So you were. Yeah, that's good. I got. Yeah. Pretty much, it feels like a long time, right? <laughs> yeah, I got I got confused between the length of time I've known you and yeah, how long I've been involved. Yeah, with the festival. <laughs> well, we have something in common. That's how we know each other. We both went to the London School of Economics. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the how. Most, we... Yep. That's right. The most fabulous academic institution in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. We're so biased. <laughs> We're not biased at all, but that's how it is, you know. So, yeah. Okay. So, Dirk, everybody, uh, has been one of our most reliable, avid viewers of the films on the selection process at the beginning. Because this is how it works. When we get the films, a huge number of films, we have to go through them. We have to sift through them. Uh, unfortunately, the festival being what it is, or any film festival, there's no way we can screen all the wonderful films we receive. So we have to make a choice. The criteria for making choices is that first and foremost, 
the film has to be of good quality. Then it also has to present a very important social issue. And eventually, uh, it has to have something to say and say it in a tangible, accessible way. Um, and, um, and then we have to decide who the audience is for this particular piece. Um, did I freeze? No, I didn't. <laughs> so uh, uh, Dirk is one of the people who really spends the time and watches a lot of films making huge recommendations. Yes, no, yes, no. Initially, the period, the first period is yes, no, maybe. And then after that initial sifting period, we go on and uh, look at the films. And here it is. I'm admitting Natalie to join us. So, okay. hi, Natalie. Sorry, <laughs> so, I wasn't making sure. I just saw your hand. Yeah, that's okay. I, I, I wasn't sure if I could do it on mobile or not. Because it, yeah, the email had said before that might not work. But here I am. Yeah, but it is great. See, we have four people here, all four chatting together. And uh, this is what I tried to see. Um, festival team, I am introducing everyone. And Natalie has been an intern with the festival for the longest period of time. Well, almost. <laughs> I don't remember when you started. February, October? No, October, it right? Was October, yeah. Yeah, October. So here is, I hope I spelled your name correctly. Bologorski? Yes, I think so. So, so good with languages, so. Yeah. <laughs> So there we have four team members. I don't know if more people will join us. This is more like an informal chat. Natalie has been an intern and she's been in charge basically of sponsorship and partnership relations from the beginning, writing a huge number of emails. Thank you emails. Please come and help us emails. Support us emails. Give us money emails. You name it. And now, uh, as we are on a reduced team taking the festival online, she's pretty much wearing all sorts of hats, including um, uh, listings for the different venues and the different uh, listing um, platforms so that people know about the festival, communicating with the filmmakers, coordinating schedules, and all sorts of things, for which I am enormously grateful and again now that i have you all online as well as ching who was here a minute ago and she had to go cover the rally of uh, asians in support of black lives matter and since we're here let us also say that sr socially relevant film festival supports black lives matter and we have in the past screened films both about black lives and police brutality and all sorts of things concerning the black community. And um, this year we have four narrative features that are going online, 10 documentary features, a couple of which deal with issues having to do with the black community in terms of LGBTQ rights and also in terms of women and mass incarceration rights. So these are issues that always concern us. The opening um, panel is about climate change and its dire effects on women and how women end up always paying the highest price. And we have an incredible panel of international women who are very active in their combat against uh, violence against women and also by shining the spotlight on the devastating effects of climate change. So there we go. Thank you all again as a team. And I will open the mic now. So whoever wants to jut in and give us a couple of uh, words or something you want to say about the festival or to listeners, whoever they are, be my guest as you are. <laughs> Well, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's just a great initiative, um, you know, to see films from all over the world covering, you know, such a, a wide, a wide range of topics. Uh, and, and they, they just, they just get better every year. 
yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. I, also, it's an educational process, not only for the audience who comes and watches the final selection, but for us as a team, as a festival, while we are making our selection, we end up learning about so many, such a broad range of topics all over the world. And even things that we weren't aware of. We can't profess to know whatever is going on in the world and every single social issue. But by looking at these films and what the filmmakers are trying to tell us, we end up, you know, expanding our own horizons first and foremost. Yeah. Oh, very, very much yeah, so. I, I, There's I, I so many know. different ways to tell stories. Yes, Michael, you wanted to say something? Uh, I just want to add that that in in my experience now, particularly being so close to the festival for the last several years, is that I can't say how often uh, some something will take place and it will remind me of a film, uh, whether it's a, a, a feature or a short um, that I saw. I mean, just the other day, somebody had uh, had posted something. And it reminded me, I'm sure, I don't know if you remember this one. I hope it was that good. It was a very short film about a, a French uh, story of somebody who was teaching people how to swim, but oh, she didn't have a swimming pool. I remember. So you remember that? Yes. It was, it was very cute film. and very, very real. Cute. And, 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 Sometime in the last week or so, there was this Hungarian producer who was showing a clip from somebody in Hungary who was doing uh, some fitness routine without the benefit of having the gym equipment. Of course, I immediately thought of that that short film, and at so often that you know something in the news or something I experienced which reminds me. Of, of, of one of the festival films, which only shows not only how timely they are when we show them, but even over time. How Actually, that's interesting that you should bring that film up because now that we are all confined because of COVID and we don't go out and all that, that film is a wonderful example of what one can do in their own apartment because this teacher is teaching right. people how to swim in a basically in a trough of water. <laughs> so you, can, you right. can teach yourself how to swim at home without the help of a swimming pool or without the availability, or you cannot go to the swimming pool because of a pandemic, but you can learn how to swim in the meantime. So yeah, that's thank right. you for reminding our audience of that film. And uh, yes, whoever wants to that jut in, Natalie, what did, what was your uh, experience or impression? Oh, of the moving the of festival working on the festival, yeah. yeah. Um, Natalie had just got her MA in sociology from the New School, so she's a sociologist, and I also have a sociology degree previously. So in a way, this is a great spot for sociologists to be because we have this entire aspect of all sorts of social issues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's been it's been really cool to see how this came together because I think in the, in the beginning it just sort of looked like, oh, we're doing all these different emails and there's all these people we could reach out to, but I'm not sure like how does this work? And then it's just really exciting to see like all of the different components come together and how committed you get all these different these different stakeholders to be in this event like you got somebody from Al Jazeera to come and you've got like the NY yeah. thing you've got like you got all these different constituencies sort of that that find something in the festival for them and I think that's pretty cool yeah that's I'm glad you are noticing that because I being so involved and from the very beginning like really involved uh, I sometimes tend to not see the tail end of it or the light at the end of the tunnel, even though that was more like the first couple of years. Now I kind of know what is the process and how we go about it. But a lot of people who come on board as interns and people who are helping with the festival might say, 
what is where is this going what i'm sending this email but what's going to happen next you know what about this even though i try to be explaining like i i try to explain so that people get a full picture and they're not just doing one little task without knowing how it ties in with everything else yeah yeah but at the same time you know it's wonderful to see the fruition of it all of course unfortunately we were stopped in our tracks five days short of opening night back in march when we were getting ready to open the festival on march 16 at the lincoln center yeah. uh, this year but it's okay you know this way maybe we can attain a much bigger international audience so just to reiterate, um, the festival films will be uh, sent to people who are ticket holders who have purchased tickets from uh, the March event uh, in, in the advanced sales early bird tickets. And we will send them the link and the password of the particular films. And the people who are purchasing tickets now are also going to be sent the link and the password of the purchase ticket for that particular film. As far as the talks and the meet the filmmakers are concerned, these are all free of charge. And if people subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, they are all going to be posted there and you are able to tune in and follow the chats with the filmmakers free of charge. But even the tickets are so cheap, like it's only $6 for the features and $4 for the f uh, short films. So, I mean, it's less than the price of a latte. Unfortunately, we have to charge because otherwise the festival goes under and we need to stay afloat so we can come back to you with a bigger, nicer uh, program next year, hopefully, in person. So I think I'm going to wrap up. Unless somebody wants to add something, anybody, any takers? No. You're okay? No, all good. good. So this is cool. No. You see, we have also a way of knowing how it looks when somebody's on their phone, how it looks when somebody's on their iPad, and how it looks when somebody's on their uh, laptop computers. Of course, as a host, I have to be on my laptop. Uh, and then uh, the filmmakers who will be joining us will have the choice of joining in in whatever format they have accessible to them. Okay, everybody, thank you so much and happy the rest of the weekend to you. <laughs> Bye. Keep well. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks Bye. for the title check. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is the moment of how to get how to turn it off. I mean, yeah. Where it... Well, I if I, I think I end. Uh, I can send you out. I can remove you from the stream. Yeah, I can. No, I see it now. Leaving studio. Yeah. yeah. Nick, Nicky Glazer did a bit with Conan O'Brien about this moment in Zoom chats. I how see. everybody's, and then at the very end, they're searching how to. <laughs> how to get out? Yeah. <laughs> So is, well, is it just a two of us on that? Yeah, you can go. But just, let, let's chat for a second. Uh, well, I'm yeah. not, uh, I want to ask you a question. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we are not broadcasting. It, it has stopped. Okay. That, okay. Were there other people listening? No, no.